This video is on Maclura palmifera, Osage orange, Bodark, or hedge apple. This is in the Moraceae family, the mulberry family. And the fruit type is a multiple of droops. And the epithet palmifera means bearing fruits. So this is a dioecia species with sexes born on different trees, male, female, different trees. And this species is native to Texas and the surrounding states, but it's widely been naturalized. Across the east, it was planted as a living fence. And this is a really contorted, spiny tree. We'll see those spines later on. So it was planted as a living fence to, um, along roadsides and things like that. And the wood, formerly used for native, by Native Americans for bows. And settlers would use this for fence posts. It's got very hard wood, even harder than our oaks. So to identify this species, we'll start with the obvious. There's none on the ground here. But the fruits are up there. You can see them. There's really huge multiples of droops. They're really big, lumpy um, green balls. And unfortunately, I don't have one here on the ground for scale, but you can see. So here's our branch. Just look how huge those fruits are way up there. Um, those are really heavy, lumpy fruits, really distinctive of this tree. Of sage orange. And now we'll look at a leaf up here you can see our leaves are going to be alternate and simple so here's one leaf it's a nice classic ovate leaf shape so it's going to be widest down here at the base and then tapers on to that nice pointed tip the margins are entire so no teeth or anything like that and so these are alternate here but a lot of the times so up here you can see these short shoots now we've got several leaves that just radiate from this one little short shoot you can see those short shoots all along the branches. So sometimes it'll be alternate up here. Um, but then you've also got these short shoots oftentimes along the twig. So if you break off a leaf stalk so in the petiole, you break it open, you'll see it exudes this milky sap. You can see that whitish substance there. Similar to how we saw on white mulberry. Remember these are in the same family. So it's also going to exude that milky sap. And we'll talk about the spines. So we'll come down here to this branch, which has spines. The branches don't always have spines, but a lot of the time, and there's not a ton on this one here on campus, but see these spines along this twig. So these are spines, they're extensions of the epidermis. It's a really nice spiny twig there, oftentimes on this tree. And the bark's really distinctive too. This one's really big. It's developed these nice flat ridges. And it's really orange, especially on the inner bark here, it's been broken off. You can see that nice orange color. You can really see those orange ridges and furrows all the way up this tree. It's a really distinctly orange bark. Our big keys for ID on this one are gonna be those nice, simple and alternate ovate leaves with no teeth, often on short shoots along the twig. On those spines, we'll often see those on the twig. And then this really nice ridged and furrowed orange bark. Those are our big keys for ID. And then of course, the, orange, the Osage orange itself, that big fruit up there, and that's real important for ID. Um, I wish we had one on the ground so we could show you the scale, but it's a really giant fruit. Um, you'll see them falling um, here on campus on this big tree.